Hello, I'm Graham Taylor and this is Post History. In this course we're going to be looking at all aspects of Roman pottery really, particularly the technology behind the making of it from mortaria and coarse wares, black burnished wares, amphora, lamps, figurines, Samian ware, mould produced, wheel produced, hand produced. We'll be looking at all different types of Roman pottery and how it was made, uh, right the way from the preparation of the clay through to the firing of the pots and indeed to the use of the pots and possibly the way they decompose after they've been deposited. So, um, what I see is not simply a broken piece of pot, I can see the process. I often describe this as sort of having a conversation with the original maker. Um, because in every one of these shirts, there is information about the manner of its manufacture, the way it was worked, the way it was handled. And I'm well aware that bits of broken pots on the shelves of museums can seem remarkably boring. Um, and I, you know, I watch kids and I watch adults in museums walking past the shelves that have the pottery on and looking for uh, slightly more shiny things, possibly. Um, but for me, this is treasure. Uh, got the brakes on, a gentle lift, so I'm just touching the sides of the pots there. That'll go down there. Next piece of clay on. And off we go. And of course that's what it is. It's a mass production tool. This wheel, if I was to stand at it all day and I had somebody bringing me clay and taking away the pots, I could probably quite happily knock out a hundred cooking pots ready for working tomorrow. Now of course that is the thing. The pots I'm making here are effectively little black burnished cooking pots. So, everyone so, I've said before that I think one of the reasons that the potter's wheel doesn't come to Britain before the Romans is it's just too fast, it's too industrialised, it's too much mass production. Because if you do live in a small settlement, there's absolutely no pot. This one's got a stone flywheel. It uh, is loosely based on the Stivington wheel. It's got a lot more weight to it than, of course, the old cart wheel. Uh, but recycled quern stones, recycled millstones would have been perfect for the job. And I suspect that's exactly what the Stivington wheel is. So, with this one, I can get it up to speed. And this time I can give it a fair bit of speed. And the weight of the wheel is going to keep that going for quite a while. So it gives me plenty of time, really, to get in there and start to centre and start oh, to form roof. the pot. Particularly on the inside of the pot. Now this piece of Derbyshire ware is really, really coarse. Not so strong, the rilling on the outside. Again, probably a tool's been used to smooth that off a little bit, but as you can see, very deep on the inside and very coarse, coarse clay. So quite painful on the potter's fingers, I would have thought. Chuck comes in. I'm going to now work up from the bottom, preferably in a single motion, all the way from the bottom, pressing as hard as I can, well not as hard as I can, pressing quite hard onto the clay to push it into the decoration of the mould. If I don't do it in a single motion, bottom to top, I'm quite likely to trap air bubbles. I can't simply put it upside down the wheel head and throw the wheel, the, the foot ring onto it because it would collapse the bottom of the pot. This is going to provide support underneath there. And again, we've looked at this particular shirt here and uh, it does show really good uh, 
indentations where a similar tool has been used to do exactly the same thing with this one, the foot ring there. Now with this one, and here we go, we're going to take it out of the mould. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm hoping that the decoration is quite nice and crisp. Um, this is the uh, Gladiator Bowl. It's not uh, melting as such in the kiln, not as a glaze does. It's already got the shine from the special qualities of this slip. And now you can see the fruits of our efforts. This has been fired to between 1000 and 1100 centigrade. And you can see that beautiful sheen on the surface. Not a glaze, a slip. Thank you. 